In Yemen, soldiers search vehicles at checkpoints near the U.S. Embassy. It is still closed with ongoing concerns about an attack by al-Qaeda. <laughs> Yemen is widely considered a hotbed of terrorist activity. Just this week, drone strikes in the country may have killed at least two dozen suspected al-Qaeda militants, according to Yemeni officials. On Friday, the president would not comment on U.S. military action in Yemen. I'm not going to discuss uh, specific uh, operations uh, that have taken place. Intelligence analysts tell CBS News it is unlikely that security concerns throughout the Middle East and North Africa have been completely resolved. Senator John McCain believes al-Qaeda remains a serious threat at home and abroad. The action of closing these embassies shows that they're able to mount threats everywhere in the Middle East against the United States of America. Still, U.S. officials think it's safe to reopen 18 of the 19 embassies closed last week. And there is rare bipartisan agreement that taking the action in response to the threat was the right decision. Anytime an American is put at risk in the world or our, our homeland, we have to deal with it. We have to be cautious. I agree with Judge. The uh, intelligence that I saw here was at least as powerful as anything I've seen since 9-11. The U.S. consulate in Lahore, Pakistan, remains closed. It was shut down on Thursday due to a separate credible threat. Jeff? Jeff Pagase, thank you.